welcome to my channel uh, so in this uh, this is the introductory video of the series where we will build this gy app that you can see on your uh, screen uh, so it's okay if uh, this doesn't make much sense at this time all these buttons and all but this is a quantum visualizer i call it quantum glasses as you can see and this is this entire series is a part of something big so actually after we complete this tool uh, making this tool this play a playlist uh, we uh, i will start the tutorials on uh, single qubit gates and uh, quantum computing the quantum algorithms and we will uh, progress a bit by bit but to get the basics clear i just uh, don't want you to you know just take down the math so while you are taking down that math you understand trying to understand the mathematics you also will be able to visualize everything and this tool will help you to visualize it so let's see uh, how is that possible so for example all all these buttons here are actually actually denote quantum gates single qubit gates and uh, all of these gates can be you know imagine it as a sort of matrix so we have a concept where multiplying h two times like uh, using this h two times will result into an identity so it just gives you back uh, it takes you back from where you started so let's uh, just first apply it once and see what happens so so i applied it once and i will now try to visualize this So as you can see, it started from your top, and now it's moving, moving, moving. So this is a state. Is a what? What all this we will just go through in the series. So as you can see, it stopped here. So applying this gate, rotated this vector from here to here. So what? What's that? Uh, we will see it mathematically. But uh, now, uh, as I told you, applying twice will. Uh, bring us back to the same state so you already know what the applying once does right if we uh, get it to perpendicular to the actual state so uh, let's see i now apply it twice so we should get back to where uh, in where we started again on that x axis right so let's visualize it now see i have applied it for the first time and it's moving 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 we will get back here we know that we already we have already seen that so yeah it's moving it's moving it's moving it's moving and we should get it here uh, where you can see x written this has here x axis and yes so you can see that uh, applying these two h actually did not have any effect when we applied h for one time we got here and we applied it again thrice we just got here so it just means that applying these two did not result into anything just a rotation around it and we are back where we started so this is one of the examples that how you can use this tool and uh, there is a reason behind doing this so uh, for, for anyone who is from computer science background uh, it will help you to understand the basics of quantum computing so all these gates you can see x y z s t h all these gates have a meaning so you will understand these basics uh, after going through series and you will talk about it much more mathematically after this entire playlist and talking about the people uh, from uh, physics background like for example bsc in physics so you may be wondering how to start with programming you know that's one of the problems that people face so then the, uh, this uh, playlist will have both so it will uh, you can see this program right just minimize let me minimize this you can see uh, this project took me around around 250 lines say for it for a, uh, approximately so this will help you getting started and you won't just have to play, you know follow step by step a tutorial of 
Python. Uh, Python is the best language to start, especially for machine learning also, for quantum computing also. So, you know, you will uh, learn Python while actually working on a project. So you will, uh, so you uh, will understand uh, how each and every concept actually comes into play while you are working on project. So the advantage of doing this tool is that, well, while you are actually learning math and stuff, it will uh, help you as a tool that will help you to visualize things. And when you visualize things, you remember and understand it, uh, in a very much better way. And the other point is, it will bring us all on the same page, right? So even if you are from computer science background or a physics or a physics background, uh, if you are from computer science background, you know it will help you to understand the physics. And if you are from physics background, it will help you to understand the uh, programming, basic programming of Python, and you know how things work. And plus, if you are someone from, even from computer science background who don't know much about uh, you know, take into our GUI apps. It will help you to learn that too. Plus, uh, before even you just start the actual math and quantum computing, you will already have a project uh, that you can showcase. And it will also give you a sense of some of accomplishment that, yes, I have done this. Uh, and it will be a great way, you know, as we say, uh, learning by doing. So it will be a great example of that. So, the uh, in the next video, we will uh, uh, start by uh, installation, uh, the packages with, that we will require to make this uh, project. And I hope to see you there. Thank you.